Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to rebuild this announcement bar using Tailwind CSS. In the beginning of the video, I said down theme is great, but they have written a lot of code. You could do it much better. So in this video, I show you a practical example of how much code I can reduce from rewriting this section with the same setting with the same functionality, even more than this, using Tailwind CSS and the same like Shopify liquid. So let's try and see how I can build this. Now I'm going to remove this part completely. So you can understand before removing that, let's check out. It has 94 lines of code, okay? So if it has 94 lines of code, let me see how much I can do this. Let's say it's 90 because I added all these lines of code in here. If I go, let's see, it is 85 lines of code. Correct, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to remove all of this except these settings should be here. I'm not going to use the setting, but it should be in here since we counted this. So I will save it. Instead of this, I'm going to write announcement bar. So yes, this should be announcement bar, correct. Now uh, you have an, a type of announcement bar, that's fine. This is the text that we are adding. So they also call it announcement. So let's put the title the same because it's coming from translation. Instead of this type, I am going to use rich text. It has a type of text. A type of text is where you enter a text, but a rich text will let you enter a link. They will make the text bold. So that's much better, right? So instead of this, I'm going to say rich text. And what do you call it? We just call it text. And how about the title? We also call it text in here. We don't specify any, we don't add any default value to this. So I will remove it. Now this is going to be the rich text for us in here. Let's give it a refresh. It should replace that with a rich text. Okay, cool. Now see, this is a rich text. You can add a link, make it italic or make it bold. That's much better. It has the default value from the previous one which we didn't change anything. Now, before I continue adding anything, let me show you the extensions I have in here. So if I go to the extension, I have, uh, if I search for liquid, I have a Shopify liquid. Uh, you should install this liquid, which is for Santix highlighting. It is great. Also, we have this liquid language support. You should install it. There is this one. It has a lot of five star. I haven't installed this one since I'm using this one. Uh, low start, but it's still doing the trick. You can try this one, liquid template snippet version two. I think it is much better than the one I use. But yeah, you can install those in your VS Code and you should be all good to go with this auto completion that I am doing in here. Now, let's continue. This is the rich text. Now, if I check the other one, you have a color scheme in here, right? You can select all of this color, which is defined. And this color will be like, will have a name of background one, background two, background three. I'm not a big fan of this type of coloring. And like, instead of selecting all of this, why not just have a color picker so the user can pick a color as a background? That's much better, right? Now, there are some ways that you can make it like this way, which is a CSS class, but I'll remove this. And instead of this, I will put a color. It is called a color picker. I'll call it BG color or background color. And let's give it a let's say the default value is going to be white, but we don't add any info. Info is a small text that you can add just below this. It is just like a tooltip at the bottom in here. So what else? We don't need to add the URL. Why? Because this rich text already support the URL. So that's good. Now let's add another color for the text color. So I call it text color, which should be by default black. Now I will remove everything from here and this is all the setting we need. Remove this and we should be all set to go. That's it, okay, everything is good so far. Now if I refresh this, everything should be like clear in here. And this is the max block of 12. That should be fine. Now at the top, I'm going to loop through these blocks and display all of them one by one. So I will just run a for loop of block inside the section dot blocks, which is this block that we are looping through. 
I'm going to give it a little space here. Now in here, I'm going to open a div. This div will be the container around this. And also you can put another div around this, which is at the top, but for now, I don't think we need that. So let's output this text in here since it is inside the block and we are looping through each blocks. You can access it in here using that block.settings.text. It will display the text for you in here. Now, how about the coloring and all sorts of stuff? You can add all here as a style, right? So it, sh it is much easy that you add in here. So here is what we add. So background is going to be not section. It will be block.settings.bg color. And also you have the text color, which we call it color. We add this as output. I hope you understand this. This is just inline CSS. We call it a background color and this will grab the data from this one, BG color. And the same for the text color. So I'll come here and I will call it, I will just write block that settings dot text color. Cool, we are all set to go in here. We haven't used any Tailwind CSS for now, but let's give it a try. You see all the set like settings in here that you have? And this is going to output that. Okay, cool, everything looks fine. Let's give it a try. Okay, this is the welcome to the store. Background is white. Let's give it this red background with a white text so it is readable. It looks great for me, right? Everything is looking great in here. Yes, it is perfect. Text is not centered. We will make that adjustment. So if I come here, add another announcement bar. Now I will call it free shipping over dollar sign $50. It will display in here. This is the default color. So let's give it a little bit of this uh, nice color. Let's give it also white. Now see it is working the same way, except it is missing some classes, which using Tailwind, we can fulfill that. Now here is the thing. How about we add that directly in this announcement bar? You can directly add it to the block itself, but I will add those settings in here. For example, how do you want to display the text align? Okay, you can add the setting in here. And if you are ask, you might be wondering, what is this autocomplete? I am using this uh, copilot, GitHub copilot, that's why it is suggesting all of this. But I'm going to use a select in here, not going to use that for now. So here we have, we will have a select option. So select option, it will, the user can select text right, left and center. So it is going to be text underscore align. And this is going to be the label text alignment. Great. I'm not going to group it. So this option will have some values in here. First of all, this one, the default one would be text left. We can leave that as empty, but I will write it for now. It should be text left and I'll put a comma. Now the good thing about this copilot is it is going to auto complete the rest of it for me, which I don't need to write it myself. So that's fine. And it doesn't have any default value. If I save it and I don't get any error, it is good, but I have an error in here. So to fix the error, let's try like invalid schema tag. The reason is because we have um, this at the end. So it should be like a valid JSON. So if I save it this time, update it successfully and everything is working fine. This is text alignment. Now let's add the text align inside a class in here. Should be really easy. We can call it text. Uh, we can, we can, since this is in a section level, it is not inside the blocks. It is in the section directly in here. So we can call it section dot settings dot text align. That's all I need. So if someone pick a text left, it is going to apply the class of text left, text center and text right. And it should apply that properly. Now there is one more thing we have to do. If it is applying this, it should compile down the CSS. As I said in the like a few videos before this, we should run npx mix watch. The video we set up Laravel mix. It will scan this file. It will find all those classes and it is going to 
compile down for us. So if I compile it for now, everything is compiled. This should upload those changes to our team. Here is one more thing. Like it is going to give an error for this manifest. Where is this manifest? Do we have a manifest file in here? Uh, we don't have probably that is a hidden file, but we don't have a mixed manifest. So for now, I will ignore this error, but here is what I, I need to do. I need to add Tailwind CSS. This compiled this CSS for me and it is fine. Like if I check this is text right, text left, everything is in here. But we never uh, add this to our theme and it, this is not applying. So that's why we have to come to the layout. This is our theme and we have to attach it in here. You see we have base of CSS, the same thing we have a base in here. You can duplicate this in, in here instead of base. We can call it app.css. It is going to apply a filter of asset URL. It will go inside the asset directory, grab the URL, and it will apply another filter called a style sheet tag, which add the link tag. It is the same way that if you just add a link in here, and instead of just writing all this, which I put here, you can just output the URL. Both of them will work the same way, but now you have more options, but both of them work the same way. So if I save it for now and everything is updated, I don't need to do anything else. Now let's give it a refresh and see how this will work. Here, it everything is working fine in the local development environment in here. Now let's come here and give it a text align. I will refresh it so it grab all those settings. And from the setting itself, from the section, I am going to give it a text align of center. See, it works in here. It works great. Now I save it, now it is text align center. If I come here and refresh it, it should apply that in my local development also. Now it is displaying side by side. Now the other setting that we can add to this one could be a grid. Let's see how many items you wanna show on desktop or mobile. Uh, so you can display them side by side also. That is not what I will do in this video because the video will get longer, but that is an option that you can add. So I hope this video has been informative and you understand how easily we can do. Now before I finish the video, let's check out the file that we have in here. This is the file that we have now and you can see it is much less than the previous one. So it has all the same options and it works the same way and it was like 85, now it is 66 and you have like we have removed a lot of the codes from here. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.